What if Weirdier was in Gen 1 OU? Now, I told you guys that I was going to make up for the lack of videos lately. So that's right, baby. Two videos in one day. Gotta love to see it. And, um, holy crap. I was not expecting to go over two insanely overpowered Pokemon in one video. I thought Weirdier would be, like, you know, just really, really good. Because it's, well, you know normal psychic type but then i saw its move pool and jesus this guy is just he has everything he could ever want and it's just insane i thought he would just be like the best pokemon in gen 1 ou but i think he's more so gonna be an uber's pokemon just like Me megalopony and that is funny because he is a deer a deer that for some reason has psychic abilities. But, eh. I, I don't really get the, the vibe from it, but... Maybe someone can, like, explain its Pokedex interests me or something. I don't think I need really bother with the stats. These are just so insanely good for, like, Gen 1. It's insane. Like, these are basically, like, pseudo legendary stats in a way. As far as, like, how I see it. Because, like, even its worst stat... 65, that is already faster than Executor, Chansey, Snorlax, Slowbro, Rhydon. That's pretty insane. But then even like its second lowest stat, like 72, that is still two points higher than Tauros is like special. So like, this per like Weirdier has a high like base stat in pretty much everything. It has 103 HP, which... That alone makes it one of the bulkiest Pokemon ever. And having 105 attack and special. And keep in mind, this is like before the physical special split. So it has stab, um, normal, and psychic. So it has the perfect attacking sets for both. Because like, it's higher than Tauros. I'm pretty sure Tauros is just base 100 attack. Why? Why does it need that much? Then it gets even more than that. Let's look at its move pool, shall we? So you got agility, if you feel like, you know, outspeeding everything, you just always have to do that. Body slam, double edge, earthquake, good to know you have, like, ground coverage. You have psychic, you have reflect, which, I don't know if there's a set where you can use that, maybe. Rest, thunderbolt, thunder wave, confuse ray, obviously you have hyper beam. But even Hypnosis. It has Hypnosis along with everything. It's just so insanely OP. You know what's funny? Hypnosis is not even mandatory. Like, I honestly feel like you could just do very pretty well with just consistency. But you have Thunderbolt too. But for me, my preferred moveset is Body Slam, Hyper Beam, Psychic, and then Thunder Wave. That way, you just have a consistent tool that you can use against, like, Tauros, so you outspeed it, or just other Pokemon that wish to paralyze you. But obviously, you could very well replace this for Hypnosis. But I don't know. I feel like Thunder Wave is just better. Not to mention, with Sleep Claws, you can only use Hypnosis once. Meanwhile, you can use Thunder Wave as much as you want. So I feel like, even, like, optimally, it might be better to use Thunder Wave. Or you can use, like, Thunderbolt for coverage. But to be honest, I don't really think you need to. Because, like, Body Slam, it already hits super freaking hard. So what would you really use, like, Thunderbolt on? The only one where it's, like, truly optimal-ish is Slowbro. But Slowbro can probably beat you with Amnesia anyways. So then you have, like... Starmie and Coyster, but Psychic already does pretty good damage to Coyster. And Starmie, maybe? But also, I feel like Body Slam and Hyper Beam can do the job as well. But it's up to you. Like, Weird Deer has a lot of different sets you can use. I'm sure you can even, like, get away with, uh, Reflect. Like, uh, Reflect. Reflect, Reflect. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Reflect Weird Deer. That could probably be a thing, too. Not very good, because, like, look at its moveset right here. It's just insane. But it's worth considering, I guess. 
Like, maybe one day Weirder will be a part of the Generation Jumble, and you can experiment. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. All I know is that Weirder debatably is actually even worse than just Megalopony. But I don't know. I don't know which one is more broken. All I know is that both of them would probably make a not very fun metagame. But let's get into the replay, shall we? Always starting off with the boy himself, Tauros. Crits, yeah, it can beat Weirdier, but even then, it's not guaranteed. Not to mention, it doesn't really count if Tauros beats something with a crit in, the, in determining something's viability. But even though it has higher attacking stats than Tauros, Psychic is still pretty good. You can get a special drop. As you see there, it does a lot of damage. By the way, I'll just say this now while um, while the Snorlax replay is going on. I will admit I was wrong about Psychic. I said in the past that Psychic isn't really a good attacking type. It's only good for like, special drops and like most of the Pokemon in the tier resist Psychic anyways. I'll admit that I'm wrong when it comes to that. Uh, yeah, Psychic is a really powerful uh, attacking type that you could just spam no matter what. Even resistant Pokemon don't want to be hit by it. I do not know what I was thinking. And that repo you saw there with Snorlax. That was Amnesia, like, reflect Snorlax, and even it got absolutely destroyed. And most Snorlax will not be, like, that specific. They'll just be, like, mostly just, like, mostly an attacking, uh, like, physical attacking Snorlax, probably. Amnesia every once in a while. So Weird Ear, no matter what, is gonna have a good time with it. It can take on pretty much any Snorlax set, which you don't really see a lot. And then for Chansey, it outspeeds Chansey. Chansey can paralyze it, but doesn't really do much, because you can just paralyze it back. And then it just hits harder than Tauros. So, Hyper Beam, you don't even need to, like, get Chansey, like, to boil 50 HP. Even at that range, it just, like, completely, like, annihilates Chansey. So, a really strong matchup. Also, I didn't say that for, like, the preview, but it should be pretty obvious. Weirdo doesn't care about paralysis that much. It's very bulky and would rather that than something like Sweep. And then Alakazam, Weirdo just hits so hard. Like, it, I was not expecting to do this much damage. Just cuts Alakazam's, like, HP like, queenly in half. And I'm pretty sure if that's the case, I'm pretty sure Hyper Beam just Oko's? But someone can correct me if I'm wrong. And then Cloyster. This is like one of the few Pokemon that has a good matchup. But that's also a bit of an asterisk because it's just Clamp exactly. If the Cloyster is paralyzed, then Weirdeer just completely stomps. And obviously Clamp can miss. And if Clamp does miss, then Weirdeer can just use uh, Thunder Wave. And then, all, all of a sudden, Weirder can just win the 1v1. This is another reason why I think um, Thunder Wave is like, potentially better than Hypnosis. Because, yes, Sweep is very good, but... Like, situations like this, Thunder Wave, I think, will be better and more consistent for beating your counters. Or, I guess, checks is a better word. But, I don't know for sure. Executor is a funny one. Thunder Wave, you can use a style of turns, although I, I will admit Hypnosis is probably better for this matchup. But because Executor, like, only really has Psychic as a really good attacking move, Weird Ear is bulky enough to where it could, like, potentially wake up in time in order to face the Executor again. And Body Swam, and especially Hyper Beam, hit incredibly hard. So, you don't get in a lot, a Pokemon that can just beat Executor even when put to sleep. But Weird Ear can do it. And that alone should probably show that, like, yeah, this thing's pretty busted. Like, Gengar has Hypnosis, but I don't think you want to risk it on Weird Ear. Because if you miss, you are really screwed. But then again, Weird Ear is such a powerful Pokemon, maybe it's worth the risk. I don't know. It is really hard for me to rank Gengar exactly when it comes to sleep uh, stuff. But not so much with Jinx. Like, Jinx, it's faster, and it has Blizzard, which hits uh, really hard. Even if Weirder manages to wake up, Jinx can just put it back to sweep again. So, I feel like this is, I think, an unwinnable matchup. Yeah, yeah, actually, no, I, I'm pretty confident saying that. 
The matchup is unwinnable. Poor Weird Ear. It has exactly, like, two matchups that are not good. <laughs> uh, okay, maybe, okay, I think Mega Megamopony is probably better than in that uh, aspect. And this surprised me. Both of these guys 3-hit KO each other. I'm not sure how a 105 Psychic only 3-hit KOs right on, but I'm impressed. Oh, for right on. Not so much for Weird Ear. Like, he almost, he almost got killed there. Which is funny. It's definitely funny. And it means that the Weird Ear is paralyzed. Right on actually might be the one Pokemon that can take it on. So maybe Weird Ear wouldn't actually be uh, Ubers. Because, like, uh, Swarbro can also sort of take it on. Hmm. Okay, now I'm, I'm actually starting to rethink it now. Because with right on, which can put up a good fight... Tauros is still Tauros, so obviously you can get, like, good with, uh, crits. You have Jinx, Cloyster. It obviously does a lot of matchups where Executor wins, because your sweep luck is just very bad. Okay, so maybe Weird Ear would be fine for Gen 1 OU. It would just be the best Pokemon by far. Which would be fitting, considering it's the two best types in the game. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that... Weirder would be fine in OU, or do you think it's just join Megalopony in, in Ubers? Let me know. We only got two uh, replays left. And also, like, this a reminder with all these replays, all this is going on just without Hypnosis. Hypnosis just makes Weirder way more broken. So for stuff like, let's say, Executor and especially Swellbro, obviously with Hypnosis, you just win the matchup. So maybe that alone would mean... Like, having Hypnosis, along with all these other tools, means that Weird Dude would be too much. But I'm honestly not sure. Because even with, like, um, Hypnosis, I'm sure there's a lot of Pokemon that would, it would still struggle against. Like, let's say you put Executor to sleep, well then, the Swellbro just goes crazy. But I, I really don't know. I, at this point, like, I just... I keep convincing myself, like, during this recording, I keep going back and forth between it's, like, it's super strong, too strong, or eh, like, no, oh, the meta will adapt. I don't know what to think anymore. And also, you saw that Starmie replay. It could go either way. It's Starmie. I don't have much to say. And last but not least, we have Zapdos. And this is another could go either way, where I don't think either Pokemon has a particular advantage. I think Zapdos being faster is, like, the main reason why I think that. And I'm also not sure what's better between going for Psychic or Body Slam against Zapdos. Because you can get special drops, which are pretty good. But also, Zapdos is a Zapdos. So, yeah, like, uh, nice special drops. Zapdos is crits anyways. I really don't have much to say. I don't have much to say about Jolteon either, so I'd even bother making a replay for that. But here we go. This is the tier list. It's pretty strong. Uh, I think this should be going to unwinnable. But yeah, um, I guess it does have some, like, bad matchups, so I guess it's fine? Like, it doesn't matter if you have Hypnosis or not, Jinx still wins. And Koyser still has a very good advantage against you. Well, you guys have to let me know what you think. Uh, so the Swag King video, I think that's gonna be my next one. It's like 7 o'clock at the time I'm recording this. If I'm still awake, I might do it. But if not, I'm definitely making the video tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. My Reggie Gigas video gets a lot of views. But even though, like, it's been months, it's by far, like, my, my, the, my oldest video that gets the most amount of views. So, I'm assuming Swag King will be like that, but maybe even more so. But who knows? Thank you all for watching. This is Grandback, and until next time, I look forward to hearing from you.